Hey folks, welcome to the Waldo World. This is Waldo. Today we're going to do another two peg rubber band bracelet with beads and this time with multiple beads on a rubber band uh, like this one. See, just rubber bands and beads. That's all it is. Uh, and it's not like the simple pony, pony uh, beads either. So uh, this too is my design. So let's get started. First, we need rubber bands, beads, our nifty easy bracelet maker, C or S hooks, and a wild Waldo wire. Now you don't have a Waldo wire, you say? It's just this. It's a thin piece of wire bent in half to, to pull your rubber bands through the, the beads. Uh, this is uh, 24 gauge, I believe. So first, let's uh, rubber band the beads. We're going to put four beads per rubber band, same as this. Uh, so let's do three rubber band uh, worth. I've done the rest. Uh, we're gonna do about five bands per inch, uh, but four should be enough because of the, the stretch. Be before starting the, to bead your rubber bands, give them a good stretch. Your uh, better rubber bands will be tighter so, they'll, so they last longer, but you want to be able to pull them through the beads, so stretching the beads will make them easier to work with and give them more durability. Same reason that you stretch stretchy string before beading. So go ahead, try, try one though, with, without, well let's stretch that one, so try one without stretching it, and you'll see that it's a little more difficult. See, it, it's hard. So if I was to go ahead and just pull it, it, it might come through, but if it did, it would weaken, weaken the rubber band, or, or it would cut right through it, and uh, you don't want to do like a few beads, and then all of a sudden it put, get you know, do, do three beads, and then it breaks right through it. So, um, also make sure that the point on your Waldo wire is fine. Uh, if you need to, pull the open end, that's this side, through a, uh, uh, a wider bead. And just pull it through. You might need some pliers. And that makes it a little finer, see? That's all you need, like so. So back to the uh, back to the rubber bands. Stretch, uh, stretch the rubber band until you uh, have some of the stress released. O open it between your uh, fingers and hold if you need to. Um, I pull the rubber band through the open side of the Waldo wire. And then I try it one beat at a time. One, see how easy that was? Before on the other one, it, it, you had to jerk and pull and use this and that. Two. If you need to, you can use a, a pl some pliers to pull, but if you're you, having to use the pliers, uh, you run the risk of uh, damaging the rubber band and you don't want to do that. So once I've got it done, see there, I've got my four beads on there. Give it a little stretch and adjust. The truth is you don't, really don't have to adjust because it'll, it'll adjust eventually, but uh, just a little aesthetics ahead of time. So stretch another. While you have it open, push your the wire through it. And that one did one stick. There you go. And usually once you, once you get the first one through it's okay. The other option that we have is you can uh, ream your beads also to make it easier if you have uh, cheap beads. You might want to do that. But most beads today are, are pretty well made and uh, they have ringed edges already, so. 
but if you're using like a gemstone, those those might be very that might have very sharp edges. And you don't have to like super, super uh, stretch them for a very long time. Then there's your final one. So then get to it, hooker. The first rubber band goes on. It's your easy bracelet maker. And your second. Take your hook. Pull the one below, above it. If you need, if it's easier for you, just do it this way. And that does the same thing. Push down. Just keep on going until you do them, most of them. Some more. So keep on doing this till you think you're um, almost done. Uh, a little before you are done, we're gonna pull this off in just a second. So let me finish this off camera. Now just so you, so you can see here at this step, uh, I've got enough that they're, they're, I can pull these through and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through. They're, they did scrunch up a little, it doesn't matter. We'll just, uh, but once you, once you go get back, do that. Once you do that, it's easier to pull these through so you can adjust. I think you I think you've got the idea on how to do the hooking, so Okay, now we're at the end. Um, let's put one more just for the heck of it. Oh wait, look, let's see what we've done. Uh, if it's a little short, I mean, you can just adjust and, and pretty much get an idea of how far it's gone. Remember, it stretches a little. And, and if you've done too many, that's fine. You can just take that off. So anyway, we're gonna take this side off. You might want to, and, and I and I do, uh, put your hook on there. Just 
to both sides. Pull them through. Okay. Yep, ready. So now we're going to put a C hook on one. And a C hook on the other one. Okay. Now pull your hook out. Now all we got to do is C hook this side off. You want to do both, both of these at the same time. There you go. One. Grab your edge. Too. Pull it a little. You might want to stretch a little, whatever, and adjust if you must, but I don't. So there you go. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like it. Why? Why not subscribe? Bye bye. Till the next one.